Oh, Eddie Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Boko No Hero Academia chapter 128. And last chapter of Boko No Hero Academia it's, was the start of the Battle of the All Might Otakus between Sir and Midoriya. And Midoriya was outwitting him. That, that, that's for sure. They were, uh, yeah, they are fucking All Might Otakus to the max. And, um, Sir put him to the test using the quirk of foresight. And the test was to get the stamp, to stamp the approval, uh, to, for a stamp of approval on the hero internship, uh, papers. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. So quirk foresight overcoming foresight and seizing the future seize the future so this chapter is called boy meets and i feel like oh my god i have to make the joke here is Cory and topanga gonna show up here is this the sequel to boy meets world like seriously i i had to say it i'm sorry I don't know how far ahead he can see, but if that's the case, I'll increase my speed so much that even if he can't, um, even if he can, um, see what's coming, he won't be able to move in time. Um, there's no way I'm leaving without the last word. It's as if you're a give me Gran Torino. So that means Clint Eastwood's gonna be, wait a minute, are you making fun of Clint Eastwood too? I know he was Gimpy in the movie Gran Torino, but come on, leave Clint Eastwood out of this. Uh, you're slow, this is meaningless. And no, the Gran Torino ain't uh, Gimpy either. Leave that car out of this too. So long as the conditions are met, whether it's a second from now, a minute from now, or an hour from now, Woo! I like that negative effect. That was pretty damn sweet. I could see exactly where and what you are doing. You could see the future. By the way, in about two minutes time, you'll be cowering over the ground with a stampless um, form in hand. Damn, it's time to fight destiny. You need to fight destiny and the heart of the cards is not going to be your guide. You've had an uneasy expression on your face the whole time. That should have been one of the first things All Might taught you to. Taught you too. Uh, those who uh, stand at the top do not show hesitation or uncertainty. Those who understand that carry their vision with them as they act. For something that um, you should have been taught many times already, why are you not able to put it into practice? Weren't you saying that you would make me acknowledge you? The more I look at you, the more I'm convinced I am that it should have been you. Oh, oh no. You push the button. You push the button. He told me that I could become it. What, a member of the riffraff? <laughs> oh my god, just that line was funny. I'm sorry. No, the greatest hero. Uh oh. Oh, you didn't see that coming. He, he, you push the button. You push the button. Oh man. Sorry, you said that you didn't care what happened to this room, didn't you? Besides, so long as the conditions are met, I can see exactly where and what you are doing. Um, where and what I am doing, a peculiar, peculiar choice of words. What is Night Eye seeing? All the conditions of the future? Is the, cu the curious thing here, the thing is that I'm curious about, because this is what um, I've learned when it comes to uh, future lore, or I should say um, seer lore is that there's multiple futures. Is uh, Night Eye seeing like one future or is he seeing like multiple futures? It feels, it sounds like to me, I should, I said feels, but it sounds like to me that he's only seeing one possible future and that's the loophole of this shit. He's only seeing one possible future. He didn't see the future where he pushed the all might button and uh, Piss and had uh, Midoriya go Super Saiyan. <laughs> Sorry, I had to uh, um, say it. Uh, all the conditions of the future or the behavior of a targeted sub a subject? Let it, let's find out. If it's the latter, then. 
His foresight won't be able to predict objects flying at random. This is, again, this is a possible future that he didn't see. There's, again, multiple futures. Night Eye. I will not back down, Night Eye. I am All Might's disciple. Yeah, what I can see does not change. Um, yeah, it does. There's multiple futures, dumbass. There's multiple possibilities. You are just fucking stupid and don't know the fucking lore. I'm not done yet. Oh, shit. I'm not. Time's up. Three minutes have passed. Disciple, hearing that m makes me sick. With just one of your plans spoiled, you, beco you become an unsightly mess? Did you lose your focus? No, I didn't. What, then, a mistake? The 10-year anniversary commemorative All Might Hero Tapestry, I didn't want to step on it. Could it be? All the All Might memorabilia? He was avoiding all of them while he was jetting around like Grant, uh, like Grant Torino? Oh my god. <sighs> Being an All Might Otaku was your downfall. In, in this test. You could have gotten it, but you were just being an all might otaku. Even while I was emotionally provoking him, he was um, moving about and evaluating his surroundings and countermeasures against me at the same time? <laughs> Sorry for interrupting. Are you finished? We heard quite the commotion. He's employed, Mirio. Whoa! You did it? Awesome! See, I have to say this. Your futures... <sighs> there's multiple futures. And there's also the circumstances. You don't see all the circumstances. But at the same time... <sighs> I'm glad that he got... Uh, I'm glad there was more context to it. Because... <laughs> I had a feeling that being an All Might otaku passed. <laughs> there had to be a catch to it. But I'm glad that he got... I'm glad that... Um, I'm glad that there was a lot more strategy to this. That was good. But I'm, it just bothered me that he was like focusing... That... Um, that I die was just focusing on this one future. He's focusing on this one future. And I'm like, no... There's got to be multiple possibilities, and you're not, and you're just focusing on that one future. It just really bothered me. But anyway, huh? But I totally failed to do anything. I said that I would give you a stamp if you could take it from me, but I didn't say I wouldn't if you weren't able to. Are you serious? You did it, Midoriya Kun. Sir, you were uh, laughing, weren't uh, weren't you? Uh, the moment I heard that you were coming here, I had already made the decision to employ you. What? I knew that you would not uh, um, be of no use to me. What? However, this still doesn't mean that I've acknowledged you. All the citizens of this world, without their symbol, they have, have not. Lo they are not looking for a faint light. They are looking for a dazzling one. I intend to make clear in the pro setting who exactly is. Or sorry, even if it, it means opposing his thoughts, I intend to make it in the pro setting who exactly is be, um, befitting of that power. Oh man. I like that. One for all is transferred according to the will of its possessor. The, uh, this employment um, aimed to make me give up. I'm looking forward to it. I, who was chosen by all might, Sir, Ni Sir Night Eye, who refuses to acknowledge it, and to God a senpai who was chosen by Night Eye, we would soon be embroiled in a strange relationship. The next day... Day one. Today is patrol and um, surveillance. We'll split into pairs. Bubble Girl and myself, and Mirio, uh, Mirio and um, Midoriya. Surveillance? Um, the Night Eye office is uh, currently conducting a secret investigation. A small designated villain organization called the Eight um, Percepts of Death. Oh, shit. <gasps> Kisaki did it! Kisaki did it! The Legion of Doom is back! The Legion of Doom is back! Oh my god. 
I called him the Le I, I'm sorry. I called him the Legion of Doom. I'm sticking with the Legion of Doom because I loved making the Justice League. I love making the DC references. Because <laughs> I, I, I can't help it because like a, a lot of what they're trying to do, especially with the Hero Association stuff, is they're trying to make like, um, they're doing a lot of uh, um, Teen Titans. Uh, it feels like, uh, especially after this examination, it's very Teen Titans-like what they're trying to do. And um, it feels like they're trying to go with the, um, shit, what's the thing I'm thinking of? Um, Justice League Unlimited route. Justice League slash Justice League Unlimited route. That's what I feel like they're going with. So that's why I'm going to stick with the Legion of Doom. Uh, their leader, a man named uh, Kasaki, yeah, Kasaki did it! The Legion of Doom is back! Um, has demonstrated some unusual movements. The Plague Mask is his trademark. Russell, a Yakuza member? But these these days, those types of people are pretty docile, aren't they? Nah, no, not him! Not Kasaki! Because there was a massive demolition of their world in the past, but this Kasaki individual has started assembling those guys uh, together again. And recently, he made contact with the League of Villains. We have no details about what transpired, though. The League? Oh, okay, they're just getting... Oh, gosh. However, we have been unable to gather any evidence to show that he is planning anything criminal. And, uh, for that reason, the eight uh, percepts cannot be treated like a criminal organization. We, uh, at the Night Eye office are seeking proof of their criminal activities. So we got, so basically what we have here is we got like a civil war going on between the, the uh, Yakuza and the Legion of Doom. And we haven't had the merger yet of the Yakuza and the Legion of Doom. That's what we, we're getting at here. Um, but it, it's gonna happen. Uh, time and again, um, they've uh, made no efforts to, no effort to put on airs that they are doing anything but, yes sir. Oh my god. Somebody, somebody, please, somebody, no, somebody. Oh my gosh. What is this? And so. I'm sorry, did I hurt you? Can you get up? Are you okay? We mustn't be causing any problems for our heroes now. My, my long internship. Let's go back, Eerie. Began. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yuri must be part. I got a feeling like we're going to see what the Yakuza is doing. I, I At least I hope we do. And I, I really hope we get a villains chapter next chapter. Just to get like a little bit more of an update. Because um, remember what we saw in the previous uh, villains chapter was like that proposal. Like that merger proposal. And I hope we get to see an update with that. And I'm curious what you nerdigans think is going to happen in the next chapter in regards to that. Um, anyway, this chapter was really good. I really like the little loophole. And I'm curious what you think about the foresight power. Like, do you think that he could, that, um, that it's similar to um, other foresight powers that we've seen in other mangas like Yamada uh, kind of in the Seven Witches? Um, where they can only see, like, one pos uh, multiple futures, c uh, depending, because, uh, you, you know, you could always change the future. Um, or do you think it's, like, uh, they, they could only see one possible future, or do you think they could see multiple, or his night, um, night eyes power can see, um, different possible futures? I'm just curious what you guys think about that. Anyway, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to Struggle Apartment Studios, which is in Death Con right now, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to the Nerdigans Inc. Patreon, PayPal, or purchase something off the Nerdigans Inc. Amazon wishlist. Everything's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on the Twits, aka Twitter. Follow my Twitch channel. Friend me on PlayStation Network. Everything's in that description box below. And until next time, my fellow Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!